Okay, so there's plenty of uh, SOG systems on the market there. 300 bucks, 350 bucks. Install it yourself. Requires a lot of altercations of the cassette for a caravan. And the idea is it gets the smell out of the van and uh, at the same time stops you using chemicals. Well, uh, seen some things online and I, I thought I'd share what I'm doing here. So uh, let's go and have a look. So this is a slightly different approach. So rather than alter the cassette, I'm actually altering the system. So what I've done is I've drilled a hole all the way through. I've got a 12 volt 50 mil fan that I'll glue over the top of that. I've ran some wires through. Now this is a, a power source here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna wire it to this, but I'm also gonna have this switch. So this switch will activate to turn that on. And that will only happen and it's a bit hard to see when someone opens the valve. So as soon as someone opens the fan, the valve, the fan turns on and this fan goes on. Now, how does this work? Well, the cassette has this valve in here. So when you slide it in, when you slide it in, there's this little valve in here that opens up. And so the air comes out through there and out this hole, which is below here. So as you slide the cassette on to this particular item here, it opens up that valve. So the idea is fan there, turn it on when they need to, and it will suck their air out and out right outside. Um, and depending on what you want to do on the other side, we can put some filters on if we need to. But ideally this is re replicating the SOG system, the SOG system at a fraction of the cost. Uh, from JCar, $20, you can pick one up from eBay even cheaper, and four or $5 for this particular switch. So I'll wire it all up, and uh, we'll see how that works. Okay, so I've finished wiring everything up, and I'll show you what we've got here. So we've got the fan there, facing down, the air has to go downwards. Uh, we've got a power source from these lines here that I'm, I'm grabbing, and then I've got this switch. So the switch is, uh, in between the positive and so the idea is that when we flick and it's a bit hard to see but when we flick the, the valve open it will flick this switch and turn that fan on and that fan sits under there like so and it'll suck air in and uh, and keep the smell out Okay, here we are. So we've got this fan in there, screwed in, going through the bottom here. So we can see the hole there. I can tidy that up shortly. Um, you can see what happens when it's on. Gets all that air out. Uh, got the switch tucked up here. I've screwed it in. And as you turn it, that little metal piece there, flicks this switch on and then as we close it, it turns off sorry I've got to focus there so let's... okay this is it there's the uh, the money shot this is a new toilet so don't worry about the mess there it's just chemicals and then when we open the valve you can hear the fan go and then we close the valve and it's off so we're pretty much done in summary you've got the fan there it turns on automatically when we open up the valve the only other thing I've got left to do is put some foam in just to make sure that the air is sucking out as much as it possible from the cassette and not in this space here. So I'll put a bit of foam here or alternatively I'll stick some foam on the cassette here just so that when the vents open it's not sucking air out from the whole cassette um, insert through here. So a bit of foam there or just there just to help and i'll also just as you can see this is slightly offline and it's okay if it is offline um but i will just put a bit of foam there so it's just directly over it um and maybe around there just so it's directly over that hole uh just so it goes straight out um otherwise uh, it, that, i would say that's pretty happy with that um underneath i can clean that hole up maybe put a plastic box on it um and uh, a uh, carbon filter as well if, if uh, some people do that but otherwise it's um, a fairly quick and easy job when I say that there's a bit of mucking around with the wiring but um, 
certainly worth saving that money at a fraction of the cost.